Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to set up our Plex Media Server and check it's working on different platforms like Windows Phone, Android Phone, Windows Tablet and other computers that we are able to access our data or not. So let's get started. First of all, we need to open our Plex Media Server again. So I'm opening the Network Watcher. And as you can see, the IP address for the Raspberry Pi is 1.80. Let me go ahead and open that. And let me log in. Now I'm logged in to my account. We need to nav navigate to Plex Media Server right here and then click on Let's just do a quick check on updates if there is any update available or not So there is no new update available. Now we'll go on to Plex Media Server. Okay, request to the server has been blocked by an extension. Let me just go into OVM Extra and Plex Media Server is open. Let's go ahead. Let's try to log in to the server directly. So as you can see we are able to log into the Plex. Now we need to click on got it and try to add some media to it. Uh, you can just close it because we need to use this in the local LAN server. I don't want to use it outside my house so click next it detect that the server is created on raspberry pi now it's setting it up as you can see it asks you to click on add library so i'm adding some movies here and when i click on next it asks you to to a permission to add a folder you need to click on browse for media folder and usually this one is the disk as you can see the backup my shared folder name is backup I select this folder I have some movies in this folder I click on add and then add library and hit next and done when I hit done you can see there are a bunch of movies right here it's just syncing with those movies you will see some wallpapers as well in a moment of the respective movies in between let me connect my windows phone to the computer and show you it's working as well So my Windows phone is connected to my computer now. Let me just go ahead and connect it and let me go ahead and open my project my screen app and provide the permission to open it. And as you can see the Plex is working now. Let me just close it and show you one more time. Let me open the Plex from here. 
and it's waiting for the connection now it's connected so you need to keep one thing in your mind that all the devices are connected with the same email address like mine as you can see right on the bottom pcmac 24x7 at gmail.com so all the devices must be connected with the same email address on the Plex server then you will be able to connect your all the devices and able to stream and browse the movies let me just try to play one movie to show you whether it's working or not let me just open the recently added video and move my phone into the landscape mode and hit play not now it's waiting for the video to browse again let us ask the permission this is for the online streaming once you take this subscription you can stream your local videos online and you can watch them outside your house it says fail to play let me just try to play some other video let me go to home and try to play this one so it's working as you can see let me just close this and check whether the Plex coin is work let me close this and check whether it's working on the computer or not At in the last I'll show you my all devices that, uh, that were working on Plex and how they were using on it so let me close this window and open the screen and we'll check first of all let me just try to play a movie and check whether it's working or not so it's working let me just try to navigate so this movie is working absolutely fine let me just close it and try to play another one I am not intimidated by your this one is also working absolutely fine now we'll go on to our open media vault and try to connect it again and check whether all the services are working fine for our Plex or not okay so my ad blocker is creating problem here So I'm selecting don't run on pages on this site and exclude and reload the page. That is not a problem. Uh, the settings are completely done on our server right here. We can easily check that and we need to block the extension here as well now I'll try to do it one more time try to reload and check 
whether it's working or not so everything is good here now uh, let me show you my windows phone again let me try to connect to the windows phone and check why it's not taking our videos give me just one minute so guys I have all my devices ready to show you how the Plex is working on all the devices so here is my computer first of all as you can see the Plex is working here and you can see all the uploads the four movie which I uploaded and I uploaded all my videos my YouTube videos right here as you can see these all videos are in now in my Plex media server now here is one Windows tablet that I'm using and you can see it also contains the same library and everything it's also updated and everything is working fine in this one let me just try to play one video to show you and as you can see it's running seamlessly fine it's just trying to grab the data once let me just close this and I'll show you uh, my Android device this is the Plex app and as you can see all the data is right here let me just play one video here as well to show you Mac. as you can see in today's video we are it's also about working absolutely fine let me just with the use of stop it and close this and now I have my windows phone with me let me just show you on this one as well so I have already installed the app and as you can see it also contains all the videos right here let me play one on this device as well now we need to click on play and if it asks you to activate you just need to click not now because we are using it in a local network we don't want it to be used over the internet on other devices I just want to use it in my house to stream my data I need to click on not now it depends upon which platform you were using as you can see on the Android device it run faster playback failed so let's try to play other video let me try to play the movie and then we'll check yeah it's working fine as you can see let me just pause it and go back so my server is working absolutely fine with all the platforms I have tested the servers now you can also do it by yourself and check if you're facing any problem you can write in the comment section I'll definitely help you that's it from my end thank you for watching my video bye bye take care have a nice day